Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Frozen, the latest Disney animated feature that's based on the Hans Christian Andersen story, The Snow Queen. It stars Kristen Bell, Adina Mansell from Wicked and the film Enchanted, Jonathan Grove, comedian Josh God, Santino Fontana, Alan Toyk, Karen Hines, Chris Williams, with Edie McClure, and Maurice Lamarchi. And it's directed by Chris Buck and Jennifer Lee, who are the creators of Wreck It Ralph and Tangled. The movie begins set in the kingdom of Arendelle. A king and a queen had two daughters. One is a fearless optimist named Anna, the other one is her sister and a snow queen named Elsa and they're both played by Christian Bell and Aldina Mansell. and as they grew older Anna was discovering her first true love a handsome prince named Hans and together while they were chatting during the same day as both Elsa and Anna were being united as princesses she was planning on getting married that same day Unfortunately, Elsa thought this was a bad idea, and this is where her fear lies ahead with her icy and snow powers that she was suffering with since childhood. It was a terrible curse that causes this to happen, which she turns everything from ice and snow, but it could be very dangerous, as during her childhood days, she almost accidentally hurt her sister. So once Elsa wandered off outside of the mountains and where she built her own uh, castle for herself, Anna sets off an epic journey teaming up with a rugged mountain man named Kristoff along with his loyal reindeer Swen to find her sister. While encountering Everest-like conditions, mysterical trolls, and a hilarious snowman named Olive. And together they battled to save to save the kingdom and their sister from causing this to happen before she winds up becoming a monster herself. And I think deep down of it, this has to be one of the best Disney animated films I've ever seen since The Little Mermaid and many others. Because this was one beautiful film that I've ever saw. Considering that it's CGI animated and not hand drawn, which I wish it was too, but that's okay. It still looks beautiful. You know, the way the the way the mountains, the snow, the ice, uh, icy uh, grounds look. It looks so beautiful and very breathtaking the way it was going. But you definitely feel sorry for the Elsa character in the movie because because of the fact that she suffers from a terrible curse that she just couldn't stop and she wanted it to go away but but she had trouble controlling it but I really did admire that character a lot I really did I also like uh, Anna too as well her sister I thought she was very fun and very quirky too it's hard to believe that she was voiced by and Christian Bell because coming from all the roles she was picking this was a good choice I'm glad they chose her and I thought her singing voice was excellent too it, it definitely served its purpose along with Adina Mansell singing voice for the song Let It Go which later had a reprised version by Demi Lovato but I like her version better than, than Demi's but that's okay it's both equal in sort of way I also love the Olive character. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, I think he did steal the show um, prior to the film. Because he was, you know, because nowadays, you know, Disney always winds up having a hilarious uh, character, you know, just to throw in for laughs, you know, for comic relief. So it's, it's always cool to see a character like that. He may not be Rob Williams the genie, but that's pretty close. So that, 
I just I know I had to compare it to the two. I also like Kristoff too, and as well as his Laura Wendier Swin. Yeah, he always loves carrots. Yeah. It's it's a very beautiful film. Um, it's a it's also a musical too. A lot of great songs that they put into this movie. It just it reminds me of all the movies that I've seen back in the 80s and 90s. And you know, when Disney was was going back to the days when they really were focusing on fairy tale classics. Yeah, and and all these musicals and all the stories that just makes the movie look beautiful as they become. I just really love that. I'm just glad they made a comeback after a few years. I mean, the last movie they did was Tangled. So, but even though they did do the movie Wreck and Ralph, but they also had Brave as well, which was a Disney and Pixar film. So, I say. You definitely need to go see this movie. You're gonna have a good time you know, during the holidays. You know, you'll definitely enjoy the music too, the sound, the look, the feel, and anything you really imagine. Because if you love all of your favorite Disney animated classics, you're definitely gonna enjoy Frozen. It's definitely the best animated feature I've seen so far this year along with Monsters University and a few others. So anyway, I give Frozen five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.